Hey everyone, it's Base Junkie transmitting from Hamburg, Germany. I'm back with a new video and today I'm going to do part two of my vinyl talk series, which basically is like I'm grabbing one random record from my record collection, which I haven't reviewed in the past and uh, tell you a little bit about that. And today's record I'm going to talk about is from Belgium. This nice one, as you've seen in the profile picture, T99 Guardiac. This is the flip side and this is the record itself released on the Columbia label which is uh, quite unusual for T99 but going back to the start it's uh, a project that started out in the late 80s and it was founded by Patrick de Meyer and released uh, three new beat proto techno records on Who's That Beat which is a sub-label of the Belgian Play It Against Him label and uh, later on the project was joined by Olivier Abelos. I guess I totally fucked up the pronunciation of the name but it's another Belgian guy and then they switched to like breakbeat hardcore rave stuff with a track you, know, you all might know as Anastasia which was a big hit back in the days like a seminal piece for Belgian techno and then that was followed up by a few other releases and one of this is the Great Guardiac which I acquired I guess in the mid 90s from a mail order I can't remember the name right now but back in the days I think vinyl was not that in fashion as it is now and um, there was one mail order in Germany that offered like records for really cheap like 50 50 pfennig which is like half like 50 euro cent right now but back in the day we had still the the deutsche mark so pfennig was a the equivalent so the cent we uh, we have now and they offered like lps for for a buck or so and uh, so i did a bit of order stuff from from that mail order and um, I acquired this in a mint condition. Pretty cheap and uh, it's a great track. The The original track is Guardiac, the extended version, which is like a hard breakbeat track, really rave step heavy with like female vocals and also raps on top. Other track on the A side is called Revenge of the Guardian. So the track list is here, which is basically the same track but as an instrumental version and on the flip side we have Catwalk which is more like a three minutes banging techno track and finally there is Tajna Mahal which is based on the original Guardiac but um, starts out like in I don't know very slow tempo just pitched, pitched down the original track and then uh, we have the raps and all that and and the speed goes up and it goes like nearly double time and then slows down again so it's like a variation on the original track with a different name which is pretty intense and great and in terms of the breakbeat they don't use uh, stuff we know from from jungle or drum and bass with the aim and break or apache but go more into a big beady chemical beady kind of way which we all know from like old Prodigy tracks as well which were not relying on the uh, classical aim and break stuff but they programmed their breakbeats themselves. And this is a great track. I always love the, the artwork which is kind of scary and spooky in a way and on the flip we have the artwork like twisted in a computer graphics fashion which, which you can see here so this is great. And what's funny about the record that it wasn't originally released on Who's That Beat but uh, first picked up by like Sony Columbia Records in the days and was finally released on Who's That Beat one year later back in 1992 and this was I guess 1991 so this is a great similar early techno track and I will find a version like a video of that tune on YouTube somewhere and I guess I'm gonna put that in the video description as well so you can listen to that record if you're interested in how the Belgian techno sounds like and I got like a pretty good bunch of T99 records I guess I guess 
four or five, I don't know. I got Slidey, which is another more new BD track, which is, was released in 1988 or 89, I guess. And there is Maximizer, and I got Anastasia as well, and I guess another one. So back in the days, I spent like five bucks and ordered like half of their discography, which was available back then. So a great band, and the two guys, Patrick de Maia and that Olivier Abelos, have worked together in several other projects that have been released on Who's That Beat and also on RNS Records. And one of them was Fatal Error, I guess. Also a famous new beat project, but this is more like, as I said, hardcore techno, breakbeat, old school rave, and very dense in terms of production. So there is not much space between the, the sonic events, but it's more like a very compressed and uh, like harsh sound and atmosphere and stuff. So you don't have, you, or you don't get much room to breathe. So this is another interesting thing about the T99 Guardiac record, which I have here. I also love the logo, and I would love to have this as a T-shirt as well. So um, I hope this works with the with the glare of the uh, of my backlight here. Cover is still pretty shiny, and the record also in pretty good condition. Here you can have a look at the label again. So Columbia, Sony was a UK release, and the original. Belgian release on who said we came out like one year later back in 1992. So this is my final talk video for today, I guess. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Give me a thumbs down if you don't. Follow me on Sue, on Twitter, on Tumblr, wherever you can find me and leave me a comment if you have any thoughts to share or any knowledge about T99 or other rave tracks you want to see. And that's it for today. I'm going to go into editing and stuff and you're gonna see me in the next video pretty soon. Base Junkies out. See you later.